The Trump administration is asking the Supreme Court to take up military transgender ban. So, so we know that 40%, 40% transgender voted for Trump, and yet he's trying to ban them to serve in the military. So, and yet it's another, it's another aggressive attempt to bypass a federal appeal court, the Trump administration, it asked, asked the Supreme Court on Friday to hear a challenge to President Donald Trump policy that bar most transgender individuals from military service. So, uh, the, this policy, this policy that is tried to ban transgender to serve in the military, this was first announced by the president in July 2017 via Twitter and later officially released by the Secretary of Defense James Mattis. This is block individual who suffers some condition known as gender dysphoria from serving with limited exceptions. It's also specified that individuals without the condition can serve, but only if they do so according to the sex they were assigned at birth. So if you are transgender, you can serve if you if you are willing to, you know, if you are willing to to say that you are male or female, so your sex at birth, that's the way it is. So the district court, uh, the, the district across the country have so far blocked the policy from going into effect. Okay, main district. The Ninth Secret Court of Appeal heard the argument in on challenge earlier this fall, this fall, and the DC Secret will hear argument in early December. On Friday, Solicitor General Noel Francisco filed a petition asking the justice to take up the issue in two separate cases that are still in our court, so it could be decided definitely this term. Francisco agreed that lower court ruling imposing nationwide injunction are wrong and warrant immediate review. So, so General Francisco is trying to take this case because it is not only the nice secret court. We have the district secret also. All of them, they block this policy to take effect. So what the administration is trying right now is to take to bring this case in front of a Supreme Court. So we see these may maybe too often these administration, whatever the case, they want to go to Supreme Court. Why? Because they think they might have some advantage. Specifically right now they have Kavanaugh, but it shouldn't be like that. If they decide to do their job exactly the way it's supposed to be, it's not about who is the judge, it's about the fact. Because in the court is about argument, it's about fact, so it should be this way, okay? It's not, it, this shouldn't be an ideology case. It should be everyone present the argument and then it should be like that. But we see these administrations quite often, they don't want to stay in our court. They just, they want to bypass any federal court and go straight to Supreme Court. But it's, but we need to understand the Supreme Court have different other case, you know, so maybe are they, maybe they may request an emergency, okay, but why this emergency? So is why, is why the General Francisco, he was because of the injunction, the military has been forced to maintain prior policy for nearly a year, despite a determination by Matisse and a panel of experts that the prior policy adopted by the Defense Secretary Ash Cardell pose too great risk to military effectiveness and so according to them the military is not effective uh is not that means they are not doing their job uh, because of the transgender so earlier this the month the department of justice warned the nice secret of appeal that he, pl he planned to ask for emergency relief okay emergency relief to leave the nationwide injunctions so the filing come after G Chief Justice John Roberts. We need to understand. So if you follow the news, John, Mo John Roberts and, and Trump, they, they were in public dispute about the independence of the judiciary this week. 
Robert issued a rare statement on Wednesday criticizing the president for calling one lower court judge who ruled against him on Obama judge. And so Obama judge, that the word that President uh, Trump used. The president responded via Twitter criticizing Robert and accusing the American judiciary of undermining national security. So let's be clear. Under normal circumstances, the Supreme Court does, like, does not like to take up an issue before it, it has made its way through the lower court. The justice like to have the issue per, uh, solved in the lower court. That's in the lower court first. In fact, that's the way it should be. So right now, according to this administration, there is an emergency, you know, to, to prevent transgender from serving the military. So it's not about if you are poor, gay, lesbian. That's not a fact. Being gay and lesbian, this is still your business because it's something that you're doing at home on your bed. That's not other people's business. And then you can, anyone can be effective. Do you, I, don't, I don't think it. they can scientifically prove the fact that you are transgender or whatever you are, you are a lesbian, whatever it is that have an F, that that don't have any F effect on what you can do. Your sex shouldn't be, you know, something that can prevent you doing your job. And we know those people, they are everywhere in the society do, doing different kind of activities. So let that's not our business, you know. That's not our business to. So that's their business. So I think we should we should let people live the way they feel they will they want that they they feel they are happy. So that's their business. So just <laughs> stop talking about it and then let them work that the way they should be though. So it's just it's unfair to prevent someone from serving because of this person is transgender or this person is a lesbian or gay. This is really unfair. So, because your orientations shouldn't impact, you know, the effectiveness of your work, what you are doing. So even though this administration has been blocked from, from, um, from executing the ban against the transgender, now they want to go to, they want to quickly go to Supreme Court, like, Likewise, the Supreme Court gonna give them, you know, these this authority, you know, to to <clears throat> stop transgender from serving. So we will see what's gonna happen. But uh, uh, this administration need to remember during the election in 2016 that was 30 percent, 30 percent transgender vote for you. So. So do we do we think with this issue they're still gonna stay with you? They better think about it. It was thirteen percent of this community that voted for Trump, and then here it is in power now. They just they just want to to ban them from from serving. So we will see the impact. So I will give you an update on uh, how this case gonna. You know, if they if because no, that doesn't mean they're gonna get really they they they're gonna the Supreme Court gonna t take up the case. So I will keep you an update about the situation. And meanwhile, I will advise you to subscribe here. We're just trying to, you know, to <clears throat> give you an update of some issue that that we think that is important to talk about. Okay, subscribe and take care of yourself.